It's time once again for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. Hello, everybody. It's Uncle Matt, and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. And it's Easter weekend. It's Good Friday. And I thought it'd be appropriate to read a kind of a bunny story today. Not a funny. Could be funny, but it's also a bunny story. It's called, I Will Always Be Your Bunny. That's right. I Will Always Be Your Bunny. Love from the Velveteen Rabbit by Francis Gilbert, illustrated by Juliana Swanny. And uh, first of all, I got to ask this very important person, or a person, not really a person, but animal, a question. Hi, pumpkin. So, uh, what do you think about bunnies? Do you like bunnies? Do you like to chase bunnies? Do you like to eat bunnies? I don't know. Sorry, this story might be kind of going downhill just with the topic of bunnies. Parents, you can skip this part. <clears throat> okay, back to our story. Not okay there, pumpkin? All right. Bunnies, okay. I will always be your bunny. When it's dark and when it's sunny, I will always be your bunny. If the world feels like a muddle, come on over for a cuddle. Some days your road is all green lights, the sailing smooth, the path is right. But when the red lights slow you down, I will hug you away your frown. I will hug away your frown. When your day is full of fun, I will be your honey bun. But if you're sad with low morale, I'll be there, your loving pal. When the storm clouds make things muddy, I will always be a buddy. Got a problem? Need a ref? I am here, your BFF. When your day's a big parade on March 2, we've got it made. But if the wheels fall off the truck, I'll make sure you get unstuck. You and me, we never end. I will always be your friend. However good or bad you feel, I promise you our love is real. The end. I will always be your bunny. That's all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. I hope you enjoyed that story, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.